Hey YouTube, Mike GPO here. Welcome to uh, sunny Manitoba. Uh, there's uh, there's the sun blazing away right there with a nice fine set of sun dogs on either side, or one on one on each side anyway. But uh, welcome to my channel. Come on in, watch a video or three, and uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, all you gotta do is be nice. Talk to you soon, folks. Hey, YouTube. As you can see by the uh, the badly beaten envelope before you, that uh, I've received a package in the mail. And uh, for me, this is a long-awaited package from uh, AGD. Um, uh, if you watched the video by Shiny Package a couple of weeks ago, you saw that he received something from AGD. And it was... Uh, it was not the prize that I won. <laughs> Shiny Package and I ended up being the only two guys in a giveaway by AGD. And part of what was in here is my winning from that giveaway. And the other part is a trade that AGD, AGD and I are doing. So if you give me a minute to get organized, we'll, uh, we'll get some stuff up here. As you can see, the first thing that I put up here is this... Uh, United States of America $1 bill and you notice it says right over there that it says track this bill well this is the prize for the giveaway so stay tuned there's going to be a separate video on this on this dollar bill right here and you have a chance to possess this for a while and uh, then you'll move it on like I'm gonna do so give me a minute okay YouTube <laughs> what you see before you here, these are all the coins that AGD sent me in the package that included uh, the uh, the where's, G where's George bill. So uh, if you give me a minute, I'm going to wrestle up the note that he sent in the package. And uh, I will place it right here. And uh, it says, hi, Mike, you are now the holder of where is George note. I thought he could see Canada before you pass him on, and yes, he will. It is also nice to do another trade with you. As you said, you would like some European silver. There is a whole range here for you. I have listed them all on another list, which he did. And uh, above that, or below that, is there is also the last two two-pound coins from the Shakespeare set. So now that is complete for you. And also the Scottish poet Robert Burns two pound coin to go with the info that Big L sent you. So now that is complete for you. Take care and talk soon, AGD. And uh, he's correct because uh, right here are two uh, British pound, these are British pound, two pound coins. Two of those, I believe that one and that one I go with this one over here from BL and this one goes with a little book of poetry that uh, Robert Burns wrote so uh, we'll get on to that but this this is going to be a giant video and I'm going to apologize right now for it but uh, hang on for a second I'll get organized all right folks we're almost ready to go as you can see I got the uh, the Dr. G coin stand with my uh, metals mafia puck poured by silver vessel and uh I gotta tilt the camera for those little guys. My two Scully uh, Jolly Rogers that are uh, hanging out at the top beside my name there. So we're just gonna get this thing set up and we're going to take a look at some coins from across the pond. Okay, folks, we're gonna start with some modern coins that AGD, AGD <laughs> sent over. Uh, the one you see in the back here is uh, Mark BL because that's one I received from uh, Ian back in 2016. And uh, that is the William Shakespeare. And that is to represent the tragedies, as y'all. Shakespeare is famous for uh, comedy and tragedy. Uh, I'll stick this in there. <laughs> I got a little ring that I, I uh, traded Christopher Sanchez for. Comedy and tragedy. But anyway, you'll see the coin on the left there is the one that represents the comedies the one over here oops sorry to hit the frame the tripod <laughs> the uh, jester's hat and then the little clown on the end of a stick there this one over here William Shakespeare represents the hollow crown anyway 
And these, the, all these coins have uh, a really nice ed edge subscription on them. And uh, if I stopped to read them all, I would uh, make this like a half hour video, like it's probably gonna be anyway. And the last one of those that he sent me was this beautiful one right here. And this is to represent the poet Robert Burns. And it says right on the front, I, it's part of a Robert Burns uh, poem. And uh, it's, uh, old, uh, uh, it's a line from the song Old Lang Syne. But anyway, and uh, he sent me that one to go with this little book of uh, Robert Burns poems that uh, Big Laurie sent me. He figured I, I probably needed a little more education. But anyway, I'm going to uh, pause this and we're going to go to the next. Hey folks, uh, here's a couple more of the beautiful coins from AGD. Um, these are uh, three pence, otherwise known as, uh, I believe they call these Thrupney bits. There was, uh, I think these, these uh, nickel brass ones, they started making these in 1937, I believe. And before that, they were just a, a little, a little tiny uh, silver coin, three pence. And I guess they figured they were going to quit uh, quit making them and uh, make them out of these. I'll just tip that one over. But they first started making them in 1937, I think, was the first year they came out. And 37 would have been um, this guy's predecessor, which would have been George V. This is George VI. And this year, the 67, you can see the design changed. And on the, on the back of this one, because I believe this was the last year that these were made. Um, you can see Queen Elizabeth II there, the silver bean counters, uh, long neck Lizzie there. But uh, the two more beautiful coins from AGD. And uh, that 67, I mean, now that it looks like that's uncirculated pretty close. But uh, beautiful coin AGD, thank you very much. All right, folks, if you bear with me for just a couple minutes longer here, the next coin I'm going to put up is this beautiful little thing here. And uh, I'm sure if you're familiar with coins at all, you know what this is, and that is the uh, the glorious German war eagle. And uh, I'll turn this one around, and you'll see that this is five German Deutschmarks. They're from the Bundesrepublik Deutschland, 1951. You'll see right down there, it's got an F on it, and that is the mint mark for Stuttgart. And around the outside, there is edge lettering, and it's a little bit uh, scuffed up, but it says, Einig, Kit und Recht und Freiheit, which means unity, justice, and freedom. And no laughing at my... Uh, rolling the R there. <laughs> but anyway, be another beautiful coin from AGD. And like I said, I just love these eagles. They're, they're spectacular coins. And this coin is made of 63% silver. I think it's 63.5 to be exact. But it's, uh, it's an absolutely beautiful coin. Thank you, AGD. Now, moving on. Next coin is another beauty right here. And this is, an, as you can see, George V, and this is a half crown, and it's uh, it's still in pretty good shape for its age. Uh, you can see there, George V, the Gracia, um, Emperor, um, blah, 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 Rex. They love their titles over there. But anyway, we'll roll this right around, and you can see this coin was minted right there in 1914. So that would, be, I believe that makes this 925. I'm, I'm pretty sure. But beautiful, uh, beautiful shield on there, a crown shield, they call that. And you see Ireland on there, England on there, and I believe Wales, there, that might be Wales, and that these two represent England. England and Wales are those two. Anyway, the British Empire is on there, and the Royal Order of the Garter around the outside. Another beautiful coin, E.G. I really appreciate these. These are just lovely. I love these British half crowns. But anyway, moving on to the next one, which is even more spectacular. 
is this little beauty right here. This is a Jubilee head half crown, 925 silver, and 1889. So you know this one's a, it's an oldie but a goldie. And we'll roll this around. And again, we see the same, the same crown shield as we saw on the other side, or on the other coin, with the, uh, the order of the garter going around. And this one has another ring of flowers going around. And uh, some more, uh, some more Latin writing. <laughs> anyway, another beautiful coin, AG, AGD. I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm trying to rush because I'm looking at the clock ticking. And it's almost eight, nine minutes. So, And I got a bunch of coins to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is going to be a part two of this AGD trade. Thank you for watching.